just want to, you know, just go in on talking about a few things that I've noticed since I've been, you know, in contact with these spirits. I want to compare, you know, Bune and Lucifuge and, and, and their, their, their kind of personalities because this is a very fascinating observation, you know, that I've made. For Bune, when I made my first pact with Bune, there was there was a an essence of fucking sickness. I I, I felt so sick, so down. I, I I become physically ill. I started having the most wild and vivid dreams when getting close to the spirit. I. Couldn't quite put my finger on what exactly was going on, but I knew that there was a presence there. There would be apparitions that would be standing in my room. I'd be sleeping at night. I would just see, you know, a spirit standing there, just pitch black, like if it was a cloak. Sometimes I would see three heads in astral form coming out of my wall toward me. I would have these dreams of a plethora of different mythical creatures that were stepping toward me and, and communicating telepathically. Bune helped me notice, you know, what was going wrong with my business and how to how to manage it, how to, you know, take matters into my own hands and really move forward to efficiently run my business. It also you know, was was very, very effective in showing me how to go deeper into my matters of magic. Not only go deeper into my matters of magic, but go deeper into myself so as to understand what exactly I needed to do to make sure that everything was up and running. There even was a shift in my personality. Now, people do say that individuals, you know, individual sorcerers who work with Bune start to kind of become greedy. I wouldn't say that it's greedy per se, but I would just say it is the mindset of the businessman or the businesswoman. It, it is the, it is definitely the personality of the business man or woman. It gives you that extreme fucking drive to make sure that everything is working correctly and that you are not getting taken advantage of because Bune does not stand for bullshit and Bune will not allow any anyone who is partnered with him to, to deal with bullshit or to have the wool pulled over their eyes. Now, I want to go into, you know, speaking a little bit about my recent encounters with Lucifuge. And as I'm getting closer to him, I, I started to notice, you know, a, a very calm, uh, a very calm sense of myself. Not only do I feel a very calm over me, but I feel a, a presence that is lurking, that, that wants me to know that I'm aware of it. You know, it, it, it wants to, it wants me to know that that everything is okay. I call to Lucifuge when I when I want to calm the fuck down, when I'm in the mundane and I'm too stuck and too far into this bullshit of, of, of normalcy, you know, or what they say is normalcy these days. He comes forward and he'll calm me. He will tell me to focus on something completely different. Wipe the, you know, the, the thought forms that are coming into my mind. You know, secure my mind to protect me from having outside influences, you know, bringing forward all these fucking thought forms in which distract me from my real goal and, and, and keep me from really achieving what it is that I truly desire. So it's been such a fucking wild journey. And now I'm on my second fucking attempt to present this pack to him. I've recently done so, and I've started to notice that when you do these things successfully, especially if you're by yourself, you're the only one who, who, who can bear witness to what it is that you are going to experience. What better way 
to to understand these these endeavors more than to be by yourself in these matters than to than to really get to observe these changes in your reality but within yourself what i like to do is take a look into myself first and that is when i feel that i understand truly what the fuck is going on in my immediate reality because once I feel a shift and I notice a, a shift in my personality, I know that my reality is due for a drastic change and a big, big drastic change at that. I feel that while Lucifuge is so calming and kind, he also can, can, can be very tough on those who are close with him. There's a there's a lot of um, a lot of tough fucking love with him. He he has the a, a, a way of you know really picking you up even though he is putting you down. If that makes sense, it's 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 a contradiction, but that's his personality. And those of you who are close to Lucifer, you know exactly what the fuck I'm talking about. Quite recently, I was called an imbecile from him because of my attempts to make this pact, how bad I want to fucking make this shit happen, how bad I want control of my reality. He called me a failure because I couldn't present to him the first pact in the right manner. But this is the exact way that I have presented the pact to Bune, and I had my request sealed. I had my pact sealed with Bune. The agreement, the terms and conditions, they were set forth and they were coming forward to me with him he's making it a lot more fucking difficult and making this entire journey um something of a fucking empowerment and and, and strengthening even though it really fucking pisses me off because i feel that i'm deserving of this but maybe this is just my ego i feel that with all of this these these fucking tests are making me become that of which I am asking of. And this is how these spirits test you. They they see, you know, they, they see what it is that you truly want. They know when you say these things, they want to feel it, they want to taste it. But when they taste it, they want to fucking bring forward these 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 obstacles in which they watch you interact they watch how you go about these these matters so as to understand how exactly they're going to bring forward what it is that you're asking of it is fucking hell but it's beautiful and and it, it it's a powerful fucking journey that i really wouldn't have any other way Thank you.